Bro, Ganyu's just so powerful, but her playstyle is so boring. There's no reason that she should be this boring. Man, can we rework Amber so that she only shoots fire arrows? If we can do that, Amber would be top tier. If Amber only shot fire arrows, she would be absolutely top tier. Like her normals were just fire. Say for instance, she was, if, if, if Amber just shot fire arrows, it'd be like she'd be a catalyst user, but just with a bow. And that would be the only change that she had. And maybe make her, uh, her alt a little bit wider angle or, or wider radius. I think that, I think those would be the changes I would make to Amber. How, how, chat, how would you guys change Amber? I, I would like to know. If we were making Amber a top tier character, how would we change her? I feel like Zhao wouldn't be as strong as Ganyu, but way cooler, more fun to play. Exactly. That's really why I want Zhao, because I know Ganyu's powerful, but she's just not fun to play. I know Zhao is gonna be crazy to play. I'd make her ult stun the enemy and hold them down, make it like five seconds long and make it a little bit longer. So similar to like what Zhang Li does. That's cool, that's cool. But I don't know, I feel like, you know what? Okay, 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 okay. Let's say, we would attune her to her actual character. So she's a flight character, right? Like her, her main thing is that she's a professional wing glider. How does that, I don't know, how would we build her to make her take advantage of her wing gliding? Like, would we give her her uh, plunge damage a boost? And then if we were to shoot, a, if we were to shoot the ground with a fire arrow, or say, for instance, you know how Breath of the Wild has, when you have fire, it creates an upcurrent. You shoot the ground with just her in any grassy area, it would make an upcurrent. Like Amber would actually make an upcurrent similar to how Venti is. But you could only do it, what, like every 10 seconds? And then amplify her plunge damage and make her plunge damage do pyro and give her ult and yeah, just give her ult a wider radius. That would be crazy. And that would be on brand for her. <clears throat> Let her have better plunge than most characters and less, yeah, less than Zhao, better plunge and more AOE on her plunge. That would, that would make her extremely viable. Instead of this HP scaling bullshit. Or, I mean, I guess Baron Bunny is, is a part of her, her, her kit too. So what would we do with Baron Bunny? Because we can't have this shoot at the foot type shit. I don't like that. I didn't like that at all. And have that behind a constellation was absolutely ridiculous as well. I don't know, with Baron Bunny, I feel like Baron Bunny should... Ooh, here we go. Here we go. So it's not too... So it's not too overpowered in the beginning. We should make her up current, like, level maybe four constellation. Because I feel like if you give that to her off rip, she'd just be overpowered. And give her the damage boost that um give her the damage boost that constellation four as well so give her the up current and the damage boost on plunge attack or follow the gotcha route and make a second amber <laughs> so so essentially a pyro amber uh, a pyro uh ganyu yeah if we just get rid of bear bunny baron bunny i think that would be cool if we just got rid of baron bunny baron bunny doesn't need to be a thing <laughs> We can live without Baron Bunny. 